All right, Shalom, Brother Ra, coming to you another video. Before I move forward, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone for teaching us 100% truth according to the Bible and who we well. And a double Shalom taught Akim out there pushing the truth and truth and sincerity, regardless of whom here or forbears. I wanted to bring out a couple of articles regarding civil unrest which is about to take place here in America, um, here in America, Salakia. Um, you know, it's happening now, protests going on, and it's happening across the four corners of the earth, you know. Um, and of course, it's, it's a major sign when it starts happening here in Babylon the Great, because you're gonna have sedition amongst men and, and whatnot uh, as famine hits at a heavy dose. So without further ado, I'm gonna bring out uh, this article here. Okay, it says, Groups plan to protest VA lockdown in Richmond Thursday. Okay, it says groups plan to protest VA lockdown in Richmond Thursday. It came out uh, today. Okay, from um, let's see, ABC 13 News, and it says uh, a group upset with Governor Northam's stay-at-home order and the extension he made on the closures of non-essential businesses plan to protest in Richmond Thursday, which is today. All right, and I believe it already happened earlier today. It says groups known as Reopen Virginia in the lockdown Virginia, VA and Virginians against excessive quarantine said they have thousands of people who are gatting, who are gatting at Virginia's Capitol Square at 11 gathering. I think that it was supposed to say at Virginia's Capitol Square at 11:30 a.m. There are more than 17,000 members of the Reopen Virginia group on Facebook. It's time to end this lockdown. It's gone on far enough, and we are tired of the misinformation and fear-mongering. Time to take our power back. The group in the lockdown wrote, see, and this is a uh, uh, sedition among men, you know. Uh, it says, there were similar protests held in North Carolina and Michigan on Thursday. And I have that article for Michigan. All right, this came out on World Star Hip Hop. It says, armed protesters demand an end to Michigan's coronavirus lockdown orders. And this is where it gets interesting because in the U.S., this is a, 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 a gun-toting country, man. Okay, it says thousands of protesters in cars and on foot have flouted Michigan's stay-at-home orders to demand the state reopen. Uh, the Democratic Governor Gretchen uh, Whitmer was the main target of armed protesters, with some chatting, lock her up on the steps of Langzine Hall Town Hall. Whitmer responded hours after the protest, saying she understood the frustration, by the, but the sad irony about the demonstration was that it could have further spread the virus and therefore created the need to extend Michigan's stay-at-home order. All right, people are being um, fed up of the fear mongering, being fed up of being quarantined and losing their jobs and not having money to provide for their families. And and this is all, guess what? It's all prophecy. And we're going to bring it out. Okay. We're going to go straight to a second Ezra chapter 15. And I'm going to hit the point, Lord willing. Okay. It says... Let's see. Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 14, it says, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Woe means death and destruction. It says, verse 15, For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. Civil unrest, race riots, people are going for, for what they need. Okay, and they want to take the next man's head off to get it. We're entering into those times, man. Okay, again, race riots is going to be a, a, a major event that happens here in America. All right, and across the four corners of the earth. And then you have different militias, mobs, and, and whatnot going after uh, one another. Okay, with swords in their hands. What? Guns. Weapons. Verse 16. For there shall be sedition among men. Okay, now let's go into the word sedition. Okay, let's go into the word sedition just to be further edifying. Now, when you go into sedition, it reads, 
conduct or speech inciting people to rebel against the authority of a state or monarch. Now, isn't that what we read in the article of what what uh, one of those groups was saying was inciting uh, rebellion to take the power back? You know, and I believe it's in the article I read in regards to Richmond, Virginia, Virginia's protest. It says um, rebellion revolts insurrection rioting and see this is all the beginning of it you know it's all it's all taking a snowball effect right now it's, it's getting ready to lead to a bigger event it says verse let's see verse uh, 16 for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another you know invading one another rolling up on people's uh, personal spaces in their cribs man OK, and we're going to read why later on in the next in the next couple of precepts it says they shall not regard their kings nor princes. And, and they're not regarding the kings or princes. The, the governor issued a quarantine order along with the federal government and different government state government officials. But these people are like, man, to hell with that. I'm tired of being in the crib without work, without food, without being able to provide for my families, you know. See, people were starting to wake up and realize, like, this is some BS that's going on. OK, so they're not regarding the order that these state, local uh, and federal governments issued. All right. With this quarantine, it says in the course of their actions shall stand in their power. See, and isn't that what the article said? Let's take the power back. OK, this is you can't make this stuff up. This is really happening man. right, right before our eyes. Man, it's beautiful. Verse 17, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able to. And what is that called? Martial law. You know, martial law is taking place and it's getting ready to turn up even more. There are certain cities that you can't go into, you know, and, and the Lord is doing this in different phases, as you can see. And it's going to turn up even more. OK, and the government is going to have to step in and use this as an excuse to bring forth uh, full out martial law. Verse 18, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. And these people had this pride of, you know, this has never happened to America. We're the best country on the face of the earth. You know, um, they always thought that they could go out and get their hair and nails done whenever they wanted to. Just pop in whatever bar or restaurant and enjoy, you know, each other's companies, blah, blah, blah. Didn't realize they were too comfortable. Didn't realize that this was going to hit uh, an America near you. All right. And this is happening across the four corners of the earth as well. The houses shall, shall be troubled and men shall be afraid and men are going to be afraid much more women and the kids. I mean, you men are killing themselves now, man. You hear about stories of people jumping off buildings and taking their own lives. Mostly these are men, man. They're afraid. People are afraid, man. Verse 19, a man shall have no pity on his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword. This is invading one another going back to the 16th verse okay so you're gonna have people running up in each other's cribs whether it's your neighbor or you going into another neighborhood people are going to be on on an all-out uh for themselves mentality man okay those carnal-minded people and only the the elect of the nation of israel is going to be protected man scriptures say then shall my chosen be known then shall be known who are my chosen okay it says, verse 19, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, meaning he ain't going to give a damn about his neighbor. He's going to be trying to get his, but shall destroy their houses with the sword. So they coming in the crib with weapons, with guns, with uh, weapons of destruction. Man, It says, and spoil their goods, meaning to rob or steal. So they're going to take whatever goods. <sighs> Never fails, man. Never fails. But we coming, we coming into the end of all this loud noise pollution, all this, man, come soon. It says, and spoil their goods, meaning taking their goods. So they're rolling up in people's cribs, taking their, anything they need, and they deem as perishable items. Candles, lighters, what else? Uh, deodorant, you know, toothpaste, food, water, women, you know. It says, because of the lack of bread famine okay and we're heading into that there's a famine that happened a famine happening now but it's getting ready to turn up even more it says and for great tribulation people without jobs people living in sorrows can't go out and celebrate have fun celebrate whatever wickedness they were doing okay 
people it, this is getting ready to turn up even more we're living in some beautiful times man okay and that's the point i wanted to hit now there's another precept i wanted to get Salakia. um let's see second Ezra chapter and this this is a telltale sign of how close our lord and savior is man our, our lord and savior is so close to 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 showing up man man Okay, uh, Second Ezra 9 and 1, it says, He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, verse 2, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. So the Lord is telling us to measure the times. Look at the times that all the prophets... And this is this is what I'm saying. I'm breaking down of how the Lord is revealing how we're supposed to measure the times. The the, the prophecy set up in ancient times who had visions of the times that we're living in now. These are telltale signs, man. Our uproars of the people, riots, you know, martial law, famine, you know, race riots is about to take place. The state, all this stage is set. Pestilences. Wars and rumors of wars. These are all signs, man, that the Lord is about to visit the world, which he made. He about to come back. You you pair everything up with the what the news is what the news is reporting, the things that are actually happening to what the scripture said would happen. That's how you know we close to the end. It says, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes, thousands of earthquakes happening per month, man. Thousands upon thousands. You can't even they're not even reporting all the earthquakes, man. There's so many. It says, and uproars of the people in the world, okay? Uproars, you know, race riots or, or, or riots, protests, which is happening now. Why? Because we are at the end of this rulership, end of this age, okay? And the everlasting kingdom is about to take place. It says, then shall thou well understand. See, Lord is... The, the prophecies are speaking so loud and clear that you're not going to have you're not going to be confused as to if we're the end of the world or not you're going to know man and and it's obvious that these things are happening now because we're living in a time that's never been on the face of the earth even in the beginning of this dosage the lord is bringing forth okay there's never been a time where all the the whole earth been shut down you know based off this uh coronavirus okay um, it says, uh, then shalt thou well understand, verse 4, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spoke of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Then you're going to know that this is what the Lord spoke of from the beginning, man, that these things would take place, man. Okay, um, last precept, I'm going to close out on this one. All right, uh, let's see. <laughs> Habakkuk 2 and 3. <clears throat> for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. And it's not tarrying. And the prophecies are speaking loud and clear. You know, because um, scripture say, thou shalt well understand. It's speaking, man. How, what does it mean by speaking? Meaning it's coming to pass. When you have civil unrest, and especially in America, where people are fed up and they're getting into desperation mode, uh, expect for it to be worse. Expect for people to invade one another in their houses, trying to go for what they need and what they want, you know, because they're not going to have any 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 um, food, man, any things to keep them going, man, to live, to survive, man. These are this is all this is a major prophecy to keep an eye on this civil unrest amongst many other prophecies that are happening, you know, as we speak, man. So keep your eyes open. This, we're living in some beautiful times. Pray for more of these things because this is the only way we're gonna get to the kingdom. Scripture say, through much tribulation shall we shall the kingdom. Matter of fact, let me get it. Let me get it. Uh I'm gonna close out on this one. Okay. Acts 14 and 22, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting, exhorting them to continue in the faith and that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of the most high. So, you know, all these things are going to be amongst us. But the Lord say, my servants are going to eat, you know, but you shall be hungry. My servants shall rejoice, but you shall be in sorrow. You know, all these things are going to take place, but the Lord is going to protect 
his very elect, man. Lord willing, we're part of that number. You know, those who have been doing what the Lord have commanded them to do to the best of their ability. Going out there pushing the truth, you know, make your call and let you sure. The Lord, the Lord has never forsaken those who put their trust in him. Okay? So this civil unrest is a beautiful thing, man. I just want to bring that out through the power of the Yahweh Shemia Shai. Before I close out, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekakodash. A double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible who rule well. And a double shalom to all Akimah there pushing the truth and truth and sincerity. Shalom.